Hello to my mom. She's my pop. She's my best. She's and crushy. You're probably wondering why I did this. Let me explain. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, uh, yeah. So what you're going to need for this project is all the colors of the rainbow char. I tested my new sewing machine and it looks pretty good. This is my brother playing Roblox. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mask. Basically, my inspiration for like this entire gown is like that one dress that Catherine Bernardo wore that had like a print. Let's get this straight, okay? I'm not doing this because Bakugo is my favorite character. The reason why I'm doing all this is because Catherine Bernardo and Katsuki Bakugo have the same initials and they rhyme. <laughs> Kathruki Bernugo. That is the ugliest name I have ever heard. Here's the bodice piece, but my table is actually very dark, so I put a piece of paper in there. You can see the shape of the body. You know, in all honesty, this is the only reason why I did this, because they have similar names. Perhaps the reason is also to bait you guys to learning um Filipino historical fashion. Even though there's nothing historical about this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. But I did implement the Maria Clara skirt. There's like two types of Filipiniana dresses. Like there's the Maria Clara and there's the Mestiza. The Mestiza has more of like stiff sleeves and like the Maria Clara has like a shawl. For this design, we're doing like a Mestiza top and like the Maria Clara bottom. For you foreigners, for people who don't know Maria Clara is, she's like a character from this revolutionary novel, No Limitang Her. And she was like the caricature of perfect Filipina beauty. Fun fuck. My ancestor is the one who inspired Maria Maria Clara. It's true, my ancestor is Leonor Rivera. Back then, in Spanish colonial times, she was seen as the caricature of perfect Filipina beauty, and here I am, her descendant, wearing a Zenitsu shirt. Yeah, uh, yeah. After finishing your bodice piece, you can just stop right here and use it as a low quality Batman cosplay for your Ken doll. Honestly, at this point, I was just contemplating if I should stop. Because you know, this design could either look ferocious or atrocious. Then again, I'm not a professional sewist. Seamstress? Well, one thing's for sure, I do seem stressed. Laugh at my joke. Laugh at my joke. Laugh at my joke. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's talk about the anime in question. Here's my insight. Uraraka has a great backstory. I don't want to hear y'all saying, uh, uh, but she's only in it for the money. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As if you've gone through your entire life doing nothing just for the money. Senor, senorita, I'm above needing material things because I am God. Are you God? You're not God. Literally try saying you're only doing it for the money to every overseas worker who had to abandon their family just to put food on their plate. Try saying that to a medical student right now. Right now! You know, I'm glad that her backstory gets implemented. It's very relatable. And nowadays, I have these moments in my adolescence where I just think maybe perhaps I should drop everything and, you know, become a nurse and abandon my dream of becoming an artist for the sake of financial gain. And so do a lot of my peers, you know, because it's normal for teenagers to feel that way. So, go on. Keep saying that she's only in it for the money. Because in reality, for a majority of people who live in third world countries, it's hard for your dreams to be fulfilled. Sometimes they don't at all. But for some reason, you guys are more interested in this guy's backstory. Don't get me wrong, it's very compelling. It's just that I've heard it too many times. Big deal, you got a poopy dad and your mom is crazy. Who are you? Basilio from Nolimetangere? Let me guess. Next thing you're gonna tell me is that you have a sister named Azula. Am I right, Last Supper, Papa Jesus? Yes, you are right, Sam. Thank you, Papa Jesus. I love you. Love you too, Sam. Okay, let me get this straight. Uh, um, 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 I don't hate Todoroki, but, uh, I just like making fun of him. Now that I think of it, Philippi Philippi Filipinos are very mean to their loved ones. Usually, when you're with your significant other, when you love a person, you love them. You just love them, you know, but for us, when you love a person, yeah, you make fun of them. Uh, like, for yeah. example, there's this, like, girl that I've known for nine years one time she got a haircut and then i said that she looked like unique salonga and that her head was the shape of a pythagorean theorem spiral and then i continue eating this piece of coffee bun. why am i even making a video none of you are gonna make this dress anyway to all my bilingual people you know that thing that happens when you listen to a joke and it sounds funnier in your native language it doesn't give off the same impact when you listen to it in english that's why i keep ranting about tagalog da bakugo in my ig story it just fits him so much something about the delivery Okay, just like watch this clip. Huh? 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 Huh?
Wala akong balak sumama sa mga kaklase ko maihina na sigurado namang hindi Shut pasado up. maging hina. You're hina. so annoying! Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? I was so annoyed with him. Just Tagalog dub in particular. But the VA did a pretty good job, you know? I was really annoyed. So overall, the acting for Bakugo, I guess, is pretty good. Cause you know, I was annoyed. 10 out of 10. He was really irritating. Would recommend. I was so annoyed, in fact, that I made a response video to him. Ah! Tung gusto mo, ah! Tara! Doon tayo sa kanto! Tara! Suntukan tayo! Akala mo, mayayanig ako sa'yo? Wisit ka! Hinayupak ka! Now what you're gonna do is sew these orange rectangles on your bodice into this shape, which will serve as a reminder that you got left by your ex. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, In yeah. this video, you can see that my head was like bopping a lot. Don't judge me, that's just how I hand sew. At this point, I wanted to give up, so here's my cover of Christmas in Our Hearts. And then I continue to cut these pizza slices. This is for the skirt, by the way. And then I began sewing the skirt. So, yeah, hand sewing right now. Bakugo stand pride so yeah, hey guys, I'm gonna show off my keychains right now. I have this habit of like losing zippers, but the secret to fixing that is this Hinata keychain. I bought a small one over here. That's cute, right? I only have these two over here because Shopee doesn't want to sell Ida. So yeah, Uraraka and Midoriya. 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 Mitochondria. Midoriya. Mini Kaniko, ni Monico, ang makina ni Monica. Here are all my pants. I love them so much. I bought them all from Shopee. I'm British with the skirt. Oh my god. And then I got very thirsty, so I like started drinking some water. I think it was like really late at this time, so yeah. I picked up my package for me from Shopee. And then my aunt started this business with blocks because you know Minecraft is relevant. It will always will be in my heart. And this is me waking up. Hello. Good morning. Oh my god, did you know that my sewing machine broke? I had to hand sew everything, okay? Haha, <coughs> <laughs> I just burped. But seriously, my sewing machine broke, so I had to hand sew everything. Do I demand respect? Dem I demand respect. Give me all your respect. Haha, <laughs> look, I have a separate skirt for my Barbie. This is the excess fabric. Look at my scrunchie. <laughs> Any of you? And then you thread the elastic through. I just want to get everything finished. Okay, so this fabric is called Gacha. Gacha! <laughs> no, Lightning McQueen. I said, kacha. Can I just say how stinky this fabric is? I put it into the sleeve so that I can make it hard. Let me rephrase that. To make it hard. Yay, I bought a new sewing machine, but I didn't use it because, you know, I, had, I just needed to hand stitch it. God, I'm so cool. Can't you tell by my Minecraft diamond t-shirt that I am indeed a cool person? And then I drew a star. And then our house had to like get the leaves off the roof. My God. So many leaves. Yeah, uh, yeah. For the pendant, I thought like, okay, what about an explosion? Cause you know, that's like Bakugo's thing. But you know, I thought like, okay, what if like I had it like have eight points? You know, like the sun on the Philippine flag. I know, I pay attention too much to detail. I say like a lot, don't I? I realize that's like, an American thing, you know, they say like a lot. I think it's because of the valley girl. You guys know about the valley girl um, trope? Like there's this girl in every movie that says like a lot. I think that's me, you know, I think I'm a valley girl because I talk like a valley girl. So yeah, I finished doing the star courtesy of Mr. Box. Then everything's basically done, I guess. Well, no, not actually. I got ready and curled my hair. Are y'all ready for the reveal? <laughs> in our house but there is no bird
guys. Ang sobrang init. Ako na guys, pagod na ako. Buti pa, natapos to. I'm so glad I got this finished. I thought it was just like this is gonna be like some kind of like other project. Um, I'm just gonna leave as a work in process. I actually finished it and it actually looks good. Does it look good? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Please share this video. I worked so hard on it. So hard.